This video is brought to you by Photodetective.com. Visit us on the web at www.photodetective.com. Photo challenges come in all sizes, from small snapshots to large group portraits suitable for framing, like this gathering. This photo is a great example of how family history is all about putting the pieces together. Elaine Clark's grandparents had this picture in their house, and she didn't know why. When you look at this picture, questions immediately come to mind. Who are these men? Why are they wearing medals? And where was it taken? Let's look at the details and sort out the clues. First, their medals signify that these men were members of the Grand Army of the Republic, an organization founded in 1866 for Union veterans of the Civil War. In 1890, over 400,000 men were members. Next, let's look at the location. The printed caption states that the photographer Luke Dillon took this picture at Mount Vernon. Dillon was their official photographer from 1880 to 1890. So why would a group of Civil War veterans pose at Mount Vernon? During the war, Mount Vernon was neutral ground under the jurisdiction of the Mount Vernon Ladies' Association. Soldiers from both sides could visit the site, as long as they left their guns at the gate. After the war, Mount Vernon was a popular tourist site for folks taking a tour of the Civil War battlefields. So who's in the picture? One of Clark's relatives fought in the Civil War, Jesse Tyler Sturm, told tales of his narrow escape at the Battle of Fisher's Hill in Virginia on September 22, 1864. Serving with Company H of the 14th West Virginia Volunteer Infantry, he hid behind a small tree and escaped the 42 bullets that hit his clothing, equipment, and the tree. He later wrote in his journal, I had the blood of three men upon me, the sergeants, the lieutenants, and my own. In the background, an easel displays pictures for sale, and men are taking orders. Dylan advertised on the back of this picture that members of the group could order duplicates if they supplied the date and the group number, both of which are penciled on the back, September 21-7. But in what year was this picture taken? The clothing worn by the men and women suggest the picture dates from the late 1880s to early 1890s, and a letter from Sturm to his father-in-law confirms it. In the late summer of 1890, Sturm and his wife visited the battlefields of the Shenandoah Valley in Virginia. Along the way, he retrieved bullets from the famous tree that he'd marked for future reference. It's likely this picture was taken on September 21st, 1890, one day short of the battle's 26th anniversary. Clark's grandparents honored Sturm by displaying this photograph. Only by putting all the pieces together was the story known. If you want to read more of Sturm's journal, it's published and available from the West Virginia Division of Culture and History you can check my blog at www.photodetective.com for a link.